A couple of changes for Manchester City. The goalkeeper is Edison. John Stone starts with Emeric Laporte as the centre-back. Kevin De Bruyne plays with Rodri in the middle of midfield. In attack, Sergio Aguero starts. He's been in tremendous form recently. Big reshuffle for Liverpool. In goal is Alisson. Virgil van Dijk plays with Joel Matip as the centre-backs. Sadio Mane starts with Mohamed Salah in the wide positions. And Roberto Firmino is the one striker. It's Mane. Left the defenders trailing now. Here's a chance. Mane! An excellent chance. More than matched by the goalkeeper, who's diffused the situation. Oh, great agility, great reflexes there, and uh, denying the opposition any knockdowns as well. Here's Naby Keita, treads it through. Roberto Firmino can't hang onto it, the keeper. Cleared it well. Milner, Fabinho. Made sure the pass wasn't completed. Roberto Firmino. Firmino! Must take the lead here, which they do in good style. Uh, they played some good football leading up to that, Martin, and thoroughly deserved that goal. It's the kind of goal that forwards love, actually, because it rewards their ability to follow in their anticipation. Yeah, ends up being a simple-looking goal, but it wasn't. As you say, it was about anticipation. Now Keita. Roberto Firmino. He might have put his teammate in here. Mohamed Salah. People did well to reach it, but he couldn't keep it. Well, a real treat in store for you. Coverage on EA Sports of the Premier League fixture. Manchester City. They'll be facing Aston Villa away from home. Fabinho! Oh, it's a long way away from the target. He was so close in. Few possibilities for Liverpool in this attack. Looks for shoot. I'm not sure how he reached it, but he did and kept the ball out brilliant. That's why this is one of the top keepers in the world. And the referee has blown his whistle and the game has ended 1-0. First leg of this semi-final over, a successful first leg. I think they'll be really pleased to have that cushion because they're up against a really good side here. I think he was the best performer in a good team today. He was always the man to watch for the opposition, but they couldn't keep tabs on him at the vital moment there when he grabbed that goal. Well, as for the opposition, it was a frustrating game for him. He really couldn't get into it make the sort of impact he was hoping for. That's a big part of why they lost today, I think.